Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. This is part 10 of our model driven app series. In this video, I will cover how to create charts in model driven apps. There is no theory in this particular video. So I will directly move to my Power Apps portal. This is my Power Apps portal. I'm inside my environment DS Tech Mirror and inside my solution DS Tech Mirror demo because we are already creating this fundraiser app. In this app, we have two tables, donation and fundraiser. So I will be creating charts for my both the tables. First, I will create chart for the fundraiser table. For that, I will go to my fundraiser table. Over here, I can see this tab called charts. I will click on it. Here you can see, we can create chart by clicking on add chart ribbon at the top. So to create a chart, I will click on add chart. Here, this is my chart designer. Using this chart designer, I can very easily create charts without writing any code. At the top, you can see we have different types of charts which I can use to display my data or to show the visual presentation of my data in present inside the table. I have column chart, bar chart, area, line, pie and funnel. Here, I have to select the view from my table. You can see all the views from my table are populating in this drop down view used for chart preview. I will be using fundraiser public view. To select a view, you can, you can go to this data tab and based on your requirement, you can select the different views from here and based on that, you can decide which view you would like to use. In this fundraiser public view, I have name or cause for which we are raising the funds and the total donations raised so far and the fundraiser goal. For example, this is COVID patient. Fundraiser goal is 1 lakh and so far we have raised 76,498 76, rupees. I will be creating a chart which will show me the total donation for each cause in a bar chart or I will be using column chart. So let's go over here. So this is my view. Enter chart name here. Here I can mention the name of my chart. For now I will leave as blank or if I will save this chart without uh, writing any name. So Power Apps will automatically create a name for this particular chart. Coming down this is my chart. Here it will display me how my chart will uh, display the data. On the Y axis I have series and on the X axis that is horizontal axis I have category. Here, if you come down, you can see this legend entries is called a series. So this is Y axis series. So what I want to display on the Y axis, I have to select from the legend entries and the baseline that is the horizontal. I have to select from the horizontal category access label. So horizontal is called as access label and the Y axis is called as legend entries. So to select the legend entries, as I said, I will be creating a chart displaying total donation for each cause. So on the Y axis, I will be selecting as total donation. This is my column total donation. And here I have different functions. I can calculate the sum of total donation count maximum minimum sum. So I will choose sum. Then over here, there's an option called add a series. I can select one more field. This is just for your information that you can add multiple series in both horizontal and the Y axis. But for this particular video, I will be selecting only one particular series. In the category, I will be selecting the cause. Name slash cause. And now it will load the chart. So this is how my chart is looking. On the Y axis, I have total donation. For COVID, it is showing me this much we have raised for hospitalization and for orphan. I can select, uh, as I said, I can select multiple uh, legend entries and multiple horizontal entries as well. For example, just for your information, if I select one more horizontal entry, let's say category, because for each cause we have category as well. So this will display like this. If I scroll down, I can see different categories, education, well-being, all these categories can also be displayed. But I would like to go ahead with just one uh, horizontal entry. So with this, you know, we have created a chart pretty quickly. And now what I will do, uh, let me show you how different charts will display the same data. This is my column chart. Now, if I select the bar graph and if I select bar, it will automatically display my data or visual presentation of my data in the form of bar graphs. If I go with area, 
line graph also line i think line graph and pie chart are not suitable for our particular scenario our particular scenario will be best displayed in column or bar graph so i would be going for the column chart now without entering my name uh, it automatically calculated the name based on the legend entries and the horizontal axis label you can say total donation by name cause so that is the reason i have not entered any name because a uh, model driven app is very intelligently selecting a very well suitable name by just looking at the name we can recognize for what purpose we have created this chart or what is the representation this chart could have displayed now i will click on save and close i'll go to my chart tab let me refresh i can see my chart got created over here total donation by name cause i will go ahead and i will create one more chart and then i will add this chart in my apps before that let me create one more chart i will click on add chart this time again i will uh, use the same view fundraiser public view i will skip the name because my model driven app will automatically select the name for my chart this time on the legend entries i would be keeping fundraiser fundraiser is the column uh, which will show me the fundraiser goal uh, the what is the goal of the fundraiser for each particular cause and on the y x uh, sorry on the x axis this that is horizontal axis label i am going to select the name cause so this was the fundraiser goal fundraiser was looking to raise for covid patients uh, this much amount then for hospitalization and for orphan and again i will be saving this save and close for all those folks who are directly watching this video they might get confused by this table's name because uh, they won't be aware what is this fundraiser goal column what is this total donation column for that i would recommend them to watch my earlier videos because this is a complete tutorial i am covering model driven app from zero to advanced level so they can start from my earlier videos and then they would be having a better idea all those guys who are watching my videos regularly i'm sure they would be understanding things very clearly so now both the charts are ready with me and this is the app which we have created so far so now what i will do i will i am already inside my fundraiser this is my sub area inside my fundraiser over here you can uh, in the ribbon see this option show chart if i click on it i can see this fundraiser public view and it is saying no read privilege i think this that is because we have to refresh the cache so let i will press control f5 to refresh the cache again i will click on show chart and you can see this now this is the chart fundraiser by name cause let me select the another chart total donation by name cause now this chart is giving me the total donation for each cause for covid patient it is saying 76000 so far we have raised this is for hospitalization and this is for the orphan child if i select another chart that is the fundraiser goal for name cause and this is also very accurately representing the visual representation of my data for covid patient this was the fundraiser goal and how much we have raised so far we have raised this much now what if i if i want to show both the things in the same chart that is the total donation and the fundraiser goal so what i will do let me go back to my chart click on add chart and as usual i will leave the chart name on the uh, y axis that is the legend entries let me select fundraiser and then we want to show the corresponding total donation so far and on the y axis i would be selecting the name cause uh, this will be the sum and then i will leave the name it automatically got generated fundraiser total donation that is fundraiser goal comma total donation by name cause it selected based on my uh, legend entries and horizontal x axis i will click on save and close my chart got created let me now refresh my app and over here my third chart should get displayed show chart and this is my third chart fundraiser i will select it and you can see this is the fundraiser goal 1 lakh and so far the amount got raised then i have hospital it is showing the corresponding value over here you can see this is the fund sum fundraiser if i click on it and this is the it will get highlighted if i click on this total donation over here or if i just hover over it it will blur the other y axis that is the fundraiser goal 
and you can do a comparative analysis like what is the uh, fundraiser goal and how much amount we have raised so far. Over here, you must be confused that why this COVID patient that for the fundraiser goal was 1 lakh and the amount raised so far was 76,000, then why this column is higher than the uh, fundraiser goal because the amount is smaller. For that, you need to understand over here, this is the y-axis for this fundraiser. Over here, you can see this 80,000 and this is somewhere 1 lakh and this is the y-axis for this total donation. Because of that, this is the difference. So over here, we can uh, very easily do the comparatively analysis. So this is how we can create a chart in model driven app. We can create multiple chart and we can select chart based on our requirement from here. So in model driven app, we have created three charts. Another important thing is these chart also support drill down feature. That means I can do further filtering. If I select over here and click on it, you can see this drill down by and if I select any other filter rate, for example, anything if I want to uh, select, for example, let me see owning business unit and I have to select the chart, it will show me. This is the owning business unit and again total donation and total fund fundraiser goal. So I can do further filtering with these charts that I have to remember. This is a very important feature of this, these model driven charts. I have to just select the attribute and then the chart type okay now i will move to the my donation table if i go to the donation table now i think you must be clear how we can create chart because this is pretty simple there is no code involved we have to just select the x-axis and y-axis and chart type and then we can embed this chart in my mo uh, model driven app for us this is fundraiser app now let me create uh, one more chart for my donation table which i will be using in my upcoming videos so I'll go to chart. Let's see the amount donated by any individuals in this app. So what I will do, let me go to my chart. Okay. Add chart. Over here, let me select the donation amount. So this is the donation amount and based on the from like who is donating this amount. So this will, this chart will give me every individual user and their total donation so far. Over here, you can see this. This is test user, this is test user and this is black. So for now, what I will do, uh, I, I want to just select a single legend entrance and single horizontal axis label. So I will click on save and close. Done. This chart will get populated over here. I will go over here my donation. I will say show chart and see. For this particular entry, we have not selected the from field. That's why it is coming as blanks. Test user 01 so far has donated this much amount. Test user 02 has so far donated 870 rupees. If you want to just validate it, go to this data. Over here, I can select all columns. And because I want to see this for a from column, you can see only two users we have. Test user 01 and test user 02. This is the entry for test user 02, 870 and my chart because I have selected this sum automatically calculated the total amount for test user 01 these three amount and it displayed in the chart so these charts are you can see how accurate they are and they are very useful to do the visual representation pictorial comparison to analyze large amount of data right now data is very you know very small or I can say right now in my app there is very limited data but in real time apps we have huge amount of data and these chart can be very useful and they support multiple types of chart like column chart, bar chart, pie chart, funnel chart, area chart we have seen so far. So this is about charts. Now using these charts and other things, I am going to create dashboards in my next video. Dashboard will cover more topics as compared to the chart uh, because there are a variety of dashboards which I will be covering in my next video. For today's video, I will just update my PPT in the progress so far that will help us to see what we have learned so far and today we have learned charts so guys who are directly watching this video these are my topics I have covered in my earlier videos you can see this is my topic list and I am going to cover or update this slide by in each and every video with this we came to an end of today's video if you like this video Please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel to get notification for our upcoming videos. 
If you have any issues, you can reach out to us through our official email ID or through YouTube comment section. You can join a group over Facebook called Modern SharePoint. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter handle to get all the updates from the Office 365 world. Till our next video, much love, keep learning. Thank you.